every sanctuary buddy here we are at after dusk in the little town which used to be called sanctuary hills but now it's just called sanctuary we just spent the last video looting it so it's time to move on and work on the main quest so the main quest tells us to kind of head this way toward concord uh, codsworth gave us the quest and we could take him along if we wanted to so why don't we grab him really quick and then we'll head towards Concord because we're playing on survival mode after all and um, as we all know survival mode can be incredibly difficult Hey, Codsworth Take a walk, sir! Get some fresh air! Oh, apparently we can't. Huh, he's not available yet. That's interesting. Okay, well we can go across the bridge or we could go off the beaten path, like I said, and uh, explore the the back roads and that's exactly what we're going to do hmm so this is the river that wraps around sanctuary which is actually an island it's a well it's more like yeah it is an island actually um, oh interesting people love dumping their junk at the riverbed huh there is uh, a lot to discover right around the island of Sanctuary. See, we're still on the island itself, and you can go around and start looting things. I also saw something over here worth uh, checking. Undoubtedly, it's some kind of loot, right? Oh, no. It's a dead fisherman. She died while she was fishing. Now, isn't that unusual? That tells a story, but there's no loot here for a little while. Oh. We found something. Yep. Here is his boat, I guess. So he did have loot after all. What's the loot? Squirrel bits. Well, I need a little bit of health regeneration. Then I'll do it. Okay, time to learn how to swim. It's pretty straightforward. You just swim. Uh-oh. There's a fish. Oh, no. Please tell me there's not mutated fish. Well, now look at this. There's a mutated deer. That's bizarre. Two-headed deer. It's like half of a deer sticking out of his chest. That is bizarre. It shows that he's hostile, but he's running away, so I'm not going to worry about it. Whoa. And here's... So this is the way to conquer. That is conquer down there. But check this out. <clears throat> a red rocket gas station. These are very common in the wasteland and pretty much the entire east coast. Ha! Huh. Puppy. Hey, puppy. And I reached level two. Well, isn't that nice? Uh, you do discover, you do gain a little bit of experience every time you discover something. So that's how we leveled up just now. Puppy. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? Aw. He's taking us somewhere. Oh, thank you. Yes. He took us to the first aid kit. Well, thank you very much. I need those. I have a few stim packs and rataways already. Uh, and you notice that my radiation has increased already. So after a little while, we should take some rad away to remove that radiation. But what can we do with the dog? Hey, boy. Do a trick. What are you doing out here all by yourself? Huh. Well, isn't that interesting? He doesn't seem to want to, uh, he doesn't want anything to do with me. Okay, well, I don't want anything to do with you then. What's he doing? Oh, he's able to interact with his environment. That's nice. And let's just take a look and see if there's anything to loot in here. Well, we do have a weapons workbench. Um, yeah, a workshop uh, and a power armor station. So those all come into play a little bit later. I don't want to confuse you with too many... Uh, different workstations all at once, uh, but we can loot a couple of things. Here's the Boston Bugle. We could take that. It must be worth something. Oh, here we go. We got Seagull Hunting Cart. You can sell those later on, so why not? Nothing there. All right, here's Medex and Bop Bop. That's what I wanted. All right, and then a cap stash. Awesome. And now let's just use the Red Rocket Terminal really quick. We'll learn a bit about the Red Rocket Station here. Business entries. Uh, safe storage. Yeah, let's try that. Take care of these barrels before you leave tonight. Inspectors are coming first thing in the morning. Uh-oh. Just hide them with the others. We'll figure out a longer tomb solution later. Hey, if nature's going to favor us with a cave right below the shop, who am I to argue? Ah. Okay, well, we're going to find that cave then. 
There's a secret cave. Rosa Restoration. Okay, uh, press pause if you want to read all this. It's just, they're talking about this person in Sanctuary. Yeah, Rosa Widow. That was one of my neighbors. All right, and anything else? Hmm, nope. Okay, now let's go out and see if the dog is more inviting than he was a minute ago. Where's Puppy? There's Puppy. Hi. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? Oh, there we go. Uh, where's your owner? You lose your owner, buddy. Aw. Okay, then. Let's stick together. All right. So now he's my companion for now. There are many companions in Fallout 4, just like there were in the previous games, uh, but this is generally the first companion that people pick up. So you can, I can issue him uh, hey. commands. Oh, he just disappeared. Wow, that's a really cool trick. Okay, I like that. Over here. Poof, he just disappeared. Oh, it's a stealth dog. Well, that's awesome. I've got a stealth dog. <laughs> There he is, and then he rematerializes. Uh, you can tell him to search hey. for items. Now, see, it's not, for some reason it's not working. You have to, hey, hey. there we go. Uh, let's talk to doing, him. Buddy? Uh, fetch something. Hey boy, think you can find something for me? Uh, items. See if there's any good stuff nearby, boy. And then he'll find something for me, come on. I might have looted everything already. Oh, he found something, uh oh. He found, oh, he really found something. All right, we've got a problem. Okay, we have to use vats for these guys. Mole rats just popped up out of the ground. They could be coming from the cave that we just learned about. Oh, that's not too hard, is it? But they burrow, so they are a bit difficult to, there we go. That was easy enough. And, oh no you don't, gotcha. Yeah, you have to get them before they burrow into the ground again. Well, I'm, I'm a bad shot, aren't I? Oh, come on. Yeah, and the other problem is that I've noticed that the enemies, they smash right into your face. So it's really hard to use bats and it's hard to target them because they're right at your feet and in your face. Perpetually. It's just these psychotic monsters that just psychotically rush you against all sense of self-survival, huh? Or self-preservation. Okay, somehow that one is scorched. I don't know how we scorched him. Um, notice I'm taking all of their meat. It's because I love that meat. No, because we can turn this meat into something we can actually eat. Now you could eat the mole rat meat, but it's irradiated. So we have to uh, do something with it and treat the meat or process the meat. Get out of the way. Thank you. All right, well he's a pretty good, yeah, he's a pretty good attack dog too. All right, now let's look around on the, aha, there's a cooking spit right here. So let's take all that meat that we just looted. Uh, we could make a nuka cola if we wanted to, I guess. Oh, we, a dirty wastelander, there's a recipe for us. Um, we can make crispy squirrel bits somehow. And then uh, we can also make mole rat chunks. And there it is. We can make two of those with the meat that we just looted. And we should be able to eat one now. Let me show you how you do that. You just go into your pit boy. That's pretty easy. And switch to aid. And then press mole rat chunks. And then it looks like just one will replenish most of my health. There we go. That's how you do it. You have to use your environment and you have to use your pit boy. You have to use these cooking stations to your advantage. Now we'll learn a lot more about the other stations later, but I, like I said, I don't want to confuse you too much. Okay, now maybe it's time to find that cave. So the mole rats popped up out of the ground, so they must be coming from somewhere, right? Well, they're coming from a cave. Oh yes, I like it. It's a, nuka, a regular Nuka Cola that replenishes health. Oh look, it's a meth lab. So you can uh, craft things at a chemistry station too. So it turns out we can't really make much now. We could make some drugs. Let's do that. Let's find out what we can. Oh, we're able to make a psycho. So that gives you 25% more damage and 25% or 25 damage resistance for five minutes. Um, and we're able to do that because we happen to have circuitry and acid. So let's make a psycho. There we go. And now we can make a psycho buff if we wanted. That's even more. Wow, eight minutes and you get 65 max health. Let's let's do that. 
there. So now we got a psycho buff. All right. Dang, my character seems to know what he's up to. Uh, let's put our vault suit on. We're walking around the wasteland in a tuxedo. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Um, dog meat needs to get out of the way, but... Okay, let's find the cave. Where is that cave? I think I just found it. Yeah, there it is. I thought I was going to have to walk around the entire hill, but it was pretty easy to find. So there's the Red Rocket gas station right there, and there's the cave. I'll show you on the map really quick. See, it's just slightly south of the Red Rocket gas station. Let's go in. Uh, are we ready? Yeah, we're at a pretty decent amount of health, and I think we're we're okay with a rad uh, with my radiation. I'm okay for now. Glowing fungus. We'll find out what that does later on. But remember, loot everything. You can even loot this brain fungus. See? Loot it. If you see it, loot it. Okay, into the cave we go. <laughs> ah, it's our first cave. Let's turn this off in case there's monsters. I can guarantee you there's going to be monsters. Here's a brain fungus. More of that. Okay, and the dog is with us. You hear him behind us. Shh, shh, shh. Yeah, I know. He's stealthy when I'm stealthy, so that's good. Oh, there we go. We've got more mole rats. Well, of course, we're going to have mole rats, right? There's uh, We might be able to sneak up on them. Yes, I think we can sneak up. Uh, he doesn't seem to know we're here yet, so let's try to pop him from here. Yep, we got him. Okay, uh, uh, get out of the way. I've been, someone's in my way. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. And, again. There, got him. I don't, I have a feeling that's not all of them, though. <laughs> okay, and now what? Wow. So this is where the gas station dumped all of their, all their waste. God, what? What big polluters. They get a big red X for polluting the environment like this. Look at this. They just dumped everything down here. This is clearly all of their junk. Fliegen meat. Oh, wow. A duffel bag with 38 rounds. Okay. And I'll take the Molotov. Nice. It's our first grenade. It's a Molotov cocktail. Now, uh, there's gas. You see the gas? So we have to be very careful not to ignite it by accident. Sometimes even a bullet... The spark from a bullet is enough to ignite the gas. Hmm. This is interesting. Alright. So this heads this leads to another room. We have to be very careful. I can guarantee you there's gonna be someone up here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is a let's get him. It's a rabbit mole rat. Well, aren't they all rabbit? Ouch. See what am I what was I saying? They're all always like right in your face. Aw, oh, what's wrong? Ooh, ooh, I've got some kind of effect going on. Ouch. Oh, crap, look at my health. Ah! I don't know what to do about that. Christ, I almost died. Well, the first thing we can do is crispy squirrel bits. We can, um, we're probably going to have to do the, uh, uh, buff out. Yeah, so what this does that gives you 50 max health point hit points So at least I won't die now and then uh, I need a stim pack. Yes, let's do that and that will stop us from dying Yes, there good. I prevented death man There we go now we can see things a little bit better. I use red to preserve my night vision Most people keep the green on I think the green is way too ugly yeah, okay, duct tape. I'll need that later. That's a crafting item. Remember, crafting becomes a very big part of this game later on, so... Drinking water restores health. Yes, I knew that. There we go. Oh, there's a safe. Sweet. Let's unlock the safe. And... Oh, come on. You can do it. There we go. It's an obvious safe, so that was pretty easy. I got a fragmentation mine now, a medical liquid nitrogen dispenser. I don't know why I need that yet, but let's take it anyway. It might come in handy later on. Another Molotov cocktail and a silver pocket one. That's good. Okay. And, of course, dog meat's going to always be right in my face, too. But, yeah, there's just not... See? They're just always right in your face. 
that's a little bit unfortunate that they couldn't make the followers keep their distance a little bit, but oh well. Okay, the mole rat had that. Uh, there's one other area we haven't looted yet, and then we'll have to end the video. Uh, oh yeah, uh, which way did we come in? I think we came in that way. So there's a, yes, look at this back here. Wow. Man, this is, this is like a gigantic uh, fusion core. Dang. And I'm getting irradiated, so I gotta watch it. Here's the fusion core right here. Wow. There's my first fusion core. Now, I don't know, you're not actually supposed to know what it's for yet, but you take it anyway if you see it. And here's a glow sided hair trigger pipe pistol. And here's our second weapon. And let's read this it's a Trash Busters Award. <laughs> So pause if you want to read it. It's essentially congratulating the red rocket station above us for being so clean, but ironically, all they did is just dump their stuff down here so no one would notice because no one knew the cave was down here. Okay, let's end here, and then we'll pick up right here in the next one. So if you like this, you can subscribe to my channel, and you'll get all these Fallout 4 videos in your red box. And I also upload Skyrim. I do Fallout 3. I do The Witcher 3. And there's also Tales of Zestaria on my channel too, okay? We'll see you next time in the cave. Thanks for watching. Ah, puppy. Puppington. Ah, hello.